So you're here tonight at City Hall. It's nice out. What's the issue on the plebiscite to you? Uh, well, I think there should be a plebiscite, people should have a say. I'm not against it, per se, but I don't think there's enough population. We don't have the tax base to sustain it. And I don't believe that the federal or provincial government is going to give any money, anywhere, no matter what, to anything like this. And, uh, like, I, I like the art center, I go to some of those things. I'm a pensioner, my husband and I, and sometimes your pension check just only goes so far with the rise in food, the rise in gas, the rise in taxes, and some, I know some pensioners are just trying to hang on to their home when they get older. I'm one of the lucky ones. I worked for 35 years, and I have a decent pension. My husband was a teacher, he has a decent pension, but it, you know, it's being eroded. And, that, and that I don't want my children in the 50s. With the new law that was passed, they have to work till 67 before they can retire. It's going to happen to them with that tax. And my grandchildren, their children, the tax has got to come from somewhere. And I've never seen the taxes go down. They always go up. The cost of they never go down, even when things improve. Our young people are leaving the city when they graduate because there's no permanent jobs with full benefits. It's nothing. They're all contract jobs. They're all part-time jobs, they're all uh, casual jobs, no benefits, no health coverage. You know, you can't buy a house and raise a family with that. You know, even buy a car, you have to have a okay. regular job. Thank you very much. So you're on Suzine, and we're talking about the waterfront and about having the Citizens Waterfront Events Center Committee. John, what's the issue? The issue is the plebiscite. We feel it is way too early to take this to a uh, plebiscite because we don't have the phase three study uh, feasibility studies in place yet. We don't have the memorandum of understanding between the city and Thunder Bay Live. Uh, hasn't been released yet. And these are the questions that we need answered uh, before we can take it to plebiscite. I mean, if you take it to plebiscite, this could kill the project or it could find the city in uh, having to build this project without any funding in place. We need these uh, we need these studies in place to answer those questions and we also need to be able to take these studies to the federal provincial government to seek out funding options. You're binding you're you're setting a dangerous precedence if you uh, hold this plebiscite vote today and or take this to plebiscite and uh, not have all those answers in front of us. So What's the goal of the group tonight? The goal of the group tonight is to tell City Council that we want them to continue it, continue to follow the process that they've been following. We have every confidence that uh, the studies so far show us that the event center ha is viable and we would like them to continue that process moving forward. Thank you, John. Thank you. We're here at City Hall. We're here. We've got Andy Wolf, who's running in Current River. Andy, you're here tonight for the uh, issue of the Website. Event Center, what's happening? Well, I guess there's a couple of factions here. Ones that want the multiplex and the others that want the plebiscite. And uh, I guess uh, we're, uh, the side on the plebiscite wants to see if council will vote for a plebiscite. I agree with that. I think people should have a voice in the city and this would be proof that we could move forward and unite the people. Either way, I will uh, accept the results and regardless of the outcome, That'll be uh, where I will put my support to make sure that we have a financially, fiscally responsible city. And how's the campaign in Current River coming? It's springtime, starting to warm up. What's happening out well, there? <laughs> well, for that, I'm not going to be knocking on doors yet. It's still a little cold. I don't think people would like me coming there, standing in their porch. So once it gets a little warmer out here, the snow's off the ground, I'll be going door to door. And actually, if uh, council does not have a plebiscite, I think I might hold one of my own going door to door Current River. So I'll know the real truth, whether they want it or whether they don't. Thank you very much, Andy. All right. We're here at City Hall.